focus of our prayer is, oh God, help me. This evening, I'm just led. I was just, you know, it was uh, since uh, very early hours of yesterday, I stroke this morning, around 4 a.m., that that prayer point just kept crossing my heart. Oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. And uh, I used the first part to lead prayer at the morning session online. And we are going to be taking the second part this evening. How many of you need the happy hand of God? Uh, Mommy Alim, you are very fast. <laughs> Hallelujah. It means I'm in the right meeting. And I've come with the right word. Hallelujah. I want you to understand something about help. You know that when we talk about help, help, the simple definition is what? Assistance. And uh, I believe you don't need assistance in what you have capacity to do on your own. For instance, uh, they put food in front of you and you are not sick. You don't need assistance to eat that food. You will just make sure you level that mountain without stress. Now, but when we talk about help, we are talking about somebody in need of assistance. And when you are not talking about help from God, it means that the help you need is far beyond the kind of help that man can give. That's why we are saying, oh God. It's a short topic. We look at um, some scriptures, then we pray, which after will take the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. And I know in Jesus' name, in the areas of your life that you are trusting God for help, help will locate you. Be ye health-wise, material-wise, financial-wise. My prayer is that in every aspect of life that you are trusting God for help, you will not lack help. I say you will not lack help in the name of Jesus. Now shout it aloud. Say, oh God, help me. I told you we have some scriptures to study. The first one was where I got the encounter from, you know. I used it as my morning devotion day before yesterday. I was reading Isaiah 41. My covenant chapter where I took my covenant scripture from. Please, those of you in the media, uh, technical help me to check. This is not my sound. Then I'm getting feedback. Maybe the speaker at the entrance is too loud. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Okay, it's getting better like this. Getting better. So back to what we're saying. Isaiah 41. Let's look at verse 14. We take it to verse 16. Which after studying that, we are going to look at testimony of people who enjoyed help of God. We look at four people. We see Jehoshaphat. We are going to look at Uzziah. We are going to look at Joshua. And we are going to look at... Um, uh, David. Then we take the last question. How to provoke the help of God, the help of God that you need before we now begin to pray. It's my prayer that God will help us. Say, oh God, help me. We can do better. Shout it aloud. You know, the topic is a prayer point on its own. Let's start with Isaiah 41. And verse 14 to verse 16. Can we all go there? Isaiah 41 from verse 14 to verse 16. Now look at the scripture. It says, Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Fear the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff. Verse 16. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away. And the wild wind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. 
and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel, you will rejoice because God will help you. I say again, you will rejoice because God will help you in any area of your life that is like you are worried, you are tired, you are crying, the Lord will make you rejoice in the name of Jesus. Now, if you look at verse 41, look at how God described Jacob. Look at the description of Jacob. Now, if you also jump to verse 14, I will show you one after the other. I just want to give you a summary. You will see the assignment of Jacob. Now, if you look at the condition of Jacob in verse 14, the Bible says, and the Lord addressed Jacob as warm Jacob. Now, the warm there is not W-A-R-M. No, it's W-O-R-M. Now, and it's, when he's talking about the warm Jacob, he's talking about Jacob as an as a worm. No, it's not, it's not a, he didn't tell us the type of worm, but Jacob as a worm. Now, you know what worms are. There are different kinds of worm. Now, and we know one thing about worms. Worms don't have bones. Now, you don't see any worm that has bones. That's why you cannot see worms standing up. They can't stand up, you know, you see that they are always crawling on the floor. Now, and because they don't have bones, you will see that worms cannot carry anything. They cannot carry anything at all, no matter how light that thing is. Now, and because worm does not have bone, you cannot squeeze or hold tight to worm. Maybe you pick it and you say, I want to hold it tight. So there is nothing about the worm that makes the worm strong. And what am I communicating? But Look at the assignment the worm is supposed to achieve. This worm has a mighty mountain in front of it. And the assignment is that it must thresh. Now to thresh means to grind. It must grind the mountain and make the mountain to become what? Like chef, like a powder. Powder. Yes. Now and look at something that does not have bone. Something that does not have any strength. Now, and when I was studying that scripture, the first thing I saw is weak you, you that is weak, and the expectation is that you are to do extraordinary thing. For one to trash a mountain, it's an extraordinary thing. A lot of my communicating. But something makes the difference in the life of that Jacob that is called referred to as one. The Bible says, Fear thou not, for I will help you. I come again. The Bible says, Fear thou not, for I will help you. Now, that's what, is, that's what made the difference in the life of, of Jacob. Fear not. Now, and because God said, I'm going to help you, O worm Jacob, he, God said, because I will help you, you know what will happen to you? You will trash the mountain. You will face the mountain and trash it because I will make you to become a, 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 a sharp instrument that has teeth. You will put your mouth on the mountain. You will chew it. It will become powder to the point that Wind can carry it away. Now, and you know that mountain is a uh, um, um, stones. There is no how a worm can do it. But listen, for God to say by my help. Now, what am I bringing out? What's the summary of that word? It shows you that when God is is the one helping you, beloved, you will do extraordinary things. If there is a vision in front of you, if there is a dream in front of you, if there is something you want to achieve. And you are looking at what you have as your capital is zero. And you are looking at what you are supposed to achieve. And you are afraid. God has sent me to you today. God said I will help you. And you will trash the mountains. And the mountains shall become powder. Because looking at the worm and the mountain, you will doubt what the worm can do. You will even say, the mountain will kill the worm. You will doubt what the worm can do. But God's help is what makes the difference. God's help is what makes the difference. I did again, fear not, thou worm Jacob, and you men of Israel, for I will help thee, see the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the only one of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument. Having feet, thou shalt thresh the mountain and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff. Listen, there is nothing that a man who has God as his heir, there's nothing he cannot do. 
that's why I see if you have come to a crossroad in your life maybe there's a there's something facing you now that you don't see anything in the natural that you can do to get results join in this prayer meeting tonight and just be praying when it is time that Lord please help me I want to show you four people that enjoyed the help of God among so many in the Bible let's look at them one after the other there's this man we call his name Jehoshaphat second Chronicles chapter 18 verse 31 he was surrounded by enemies now those enemies were actually looking for King Ahab but when they surrounded him thinking he was King Ahab the Bible says these men were mighty men they wanted to kill him second Kings let's have it on screen chapter 18 and verse 31 they wanted to kill him but I love the way the Bible documents it second Kings chapter 18 verse 31 do not listen to it well no no second Chronicles I'm sorry not second Kings second Chronicles 18 31 second Chronicles 18 so it was when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat they said it is the king of Israel therefore they surrounded him to attack him look at this but Jehoshaphat cried out and the word Lord and what happened and the Lord helped him I love that statement Jehoshaphat cried out I, I am not the king of Israel. I am the king of Judah. But this were furious man. In battle, they don't have pity. But the Bible says, because God helped him, look at this, and God diverted them from him. Every arrow sent your directions. Because God is helping you, they shall be diverted. Amen. I said they shall be diverted. Amen. Can you see? Because God was helping him. There was a diversion. That's why I don't want me. I don't care when they say somebody is somebody is shooting shoot, uh, shooting arrow at me and somebody is planning evil against me. Listen, you will only succeed to get me if God is not helping me. But as long as God is the one getting me, go and go and try and do your worst. You will see that there will be a diversion. Look at Jehoshaphat. This is a, a a a clear proof when God is the one helping you evil arrows will not reach you. Let them go and bury anything around your business places. It will not reach you. Let them gang up together and say, yes, today we are going to kill him. They will not know how those things will be diverted away from you. God helped Jehoshaphat. He came out of that battle alive. Look at the second example again. I wrote another one. The man's name is Uzziah. In 2 Chronicles chapter 26. 7 to 6. 2 Chronicles chapter 26. From verse 7 to verse 6. Legada basene. Yagada bas. Are you there? 2 Chronicles 26. From verse 7. From verse 7. Are you there? Yes. Look at this. The Bible says, God helped him against the Philistines. Can you see God? God helped him against the Philistines. Against the Arabians. Who lived in Gobal and against the Moanites? Next verse, move on. Also, the Ammonites brought tribute to Uzziah. Can you see? Because God was helping him in battles against his enemies, his enemies were bringing tributes to him. His enemies were bringing tributes to him. Why? You can't see, you can't defeat a man that God is with. And it's your Lord, no, 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 because God is the one helping him. There used to be a time there was a pastor living in this area. Anytime people leave our church, this pastor will go and sit down with them and he'll be asking them questions. Why did you leave? Who is Pastor Prince Philip Falabi? What kind of a man is, is he? I didn't know all these things until one day some key people left our church. It was that time that the Kintosins and others left. Now when they left, he went to them. By his own self, he now came back to me one, son, one morning. It was in, on, a, on a Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. He came into the church office here, to the church all here. He saw me. He said, Pastor, I want to see you. So I sat in front of him. What happened? He said, everybody that have left this church, I have gone to sit down with them to ask them whether I can find one genuine reason to hold against you. He said, but all of them kept saying one thing. And what is that? Pastor Princewill is very tough. Pastor Princewill, he knows where he's going. 
you can't bend him. Why, why did you leave? He said, I can't cope. He's too tough. He said, I'm expecting them to say, Pastor Prince Will, ah, ah, he has a girlfriend. Ah, Pastor Prince Will, he's using charm. Pastor Prince Will, he, he said, that's what he was looking for. I just look at him and shook my head. He said, Pastor, he said this in Yoruba, I look at him and I said, it's only God, it's God that is helping me. When God is the one helping you, the enemies will be bringing tributes to you. Today as we pray, the Lord will help you. I said the Lord will help you. Let's look at that one of Joshua. I love this one very well. In Joshua chapter 10 from verse 8 to verse 14. Joshua chapter 10 from verse 8 to verse 14. All whoever came before me, uh, Joshua, <laughs> I was shocked when he was saying, Oh, whoever came before me, Joshua chapter 10. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear, do not fear them, for I have delivered them into your hands. Not a man of them shall stand before you. I, I expect somebody to take this as a covenant promise. But I want to buy this year, not one will be able to stand against you. Did God fulfill his word? Verse 9. Joshua therefore came upon them suddenly, having marched all night from Gilgal. I see sudden miracle for somebody. They will see suddenly the glorious thing God is doing in your life. And they will say, Ha. They will see it suddenly and they will say, ha. That's why I don't announce it until they see it. Let what God is doing in your life announce itself. Let's move on. Let's move on. We are not yet there. So Joshua therefore came, okay? So the Lord rooted them before Israel, killed them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, chased them along the road that goes to Beth Horon, and struck them down as far as Asaka and Maka, whatever. And it happened as they fled before Israel and were on the descent of Beth Hor Horon. Horon, sorry. They, that the Lord cast down. Can you see God helping man? God cast down large hill stones from heaven on them as far as Asak and they died. There was, there were more who died from the hillstones than the children of Israel killed with the sword. God killed more than men. Move on. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the days when the Lord delivered up the Amorite before the children of Israel. And he said, in that sight of Israel, sun, stand still. Over Gibeah, a moon in the valley of Ajalon. Let's now see verse 12. So the sun stood still because God decided to help Joshua. He told the sun to stay. And what happened to the moon? And the moon stopped. Till the people had revenged upon their enemies. Is this not written? In the book of Jaza. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven. And did not hasten to go down. For about a whole day. The calendar was suspended. What clock didn't work for one whole day? I love the statement of the people. And there has been no day like that before or after it that the Lord heeded the voice of man. God will hear your voice today. In the areas where the enemies thought they have made their plans, they are waiting to carry it out, God will show up with help for you. I say God will show up with help for you. The Lord heeded the voice of man. For the Lord fought for Israel. Oh God, help me. We are about praying very soon. We'll take one more. In 1 Samuel chapter 10. Verse 26. 1 Samuel chapter 10. And verse 26. Look at another help from God. And Saul also went home to Gibeah. Now, this was one, when King Saul was still right with God. Look at this. And valiant men 
went with him whose hearts God has touched. Wait for me. Do you know what they call valiant men? The greatest problem of any man is scarcity of men. What did I call it? The greatest problem of any man, if you see anybody that is struggling, go and find out what he lack. He lack help of men. When God is helping you, he will touch the heart of men for your sake. I come again. When God is helping you, he will touch the hearts of men for your sake. The hearts of men will be touched. The Bible says all the valiant men, not weak men. Men that will team up with him and make him a good king. A victorious king. Father, I call for valiant men into God's power evangelical mission. Wherever they are, men whose hearts you have touched, Father, begin to bring them in. God's power evangelical mission, Liberty Road. God's power evangelical mission, Elebu, Olonu Kemi Estate. God's power evangelical mission, Atayegu. We call for valiant men, men whose hearts you have touched. Lord, bring them to team up with us in the name of Jesus. I was praying three days ago at home and I was saying, Lord, Lord, I pray, Jesus our Lord said, we should ask for the, uh, 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 that the harvest is sent to us, we should ask for uh, laborers, yes. I was saying, Lord, laborers, Lord, laborers, Lord. And God started to show me some laborers that he has given. He says, son, do you remember you were trusting God for so so and so aspect of this ministry that you need so so and so thing? I brought this person. Do you remember uh, you were trusting God for so so and so thing in this aspect of ministry? I brought this person. And I asked, I was saying, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I need more. Lord, I need more. Look at what happened to King Saul. Because God helped him. God touched the heart of certain men for him. Quickly, before we begin to pray, what did the people who enjoyed the help of God do to attract it? What did they do? What did the people who enjoyed the help of God do to attract it? Second Kings chapter 19, 1 to 6. Help me, Lord. 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 Shagadavarabaskele. My helper, help me. My helper, please help me. My helper, please help me. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. There is something, Lord. There is something that makes me Come into your presence, my helper. Look at how King Hezekiah provoked that help. And so it was, when King Hezekiah heard, heard it, that he tore his clothes. Please follow this reading. Covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. Now, in the Old Testament, do you know what this means? To tear your cloth, put on ashes, is humility. To go into God's house means you are the only source of my help. I humbly come before the one that can help me. Show us the next verse. Then he sent Eli Eliakim, who was over the house of Shibana. The, the scribe and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. Where did they go next? They went to the prophet's house. God's spokesman. All is showing that we don't have another source. And they said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, 
this day is a day of trouble and rebuke and blasphemy for the children have come to bed but there is no strength to bring them forth it may be that the Lord your God will hear all the words of that king whom his master the king of Assyria has sent to reproach the living God and will rebuke the words which the Lord your God has heard therefore lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left what is this to saying we have no other source please help us to talk to God so the servant of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah the prophet and Isaiah said to them thus you shall say to your master thus says the Lord do not be afraid of the word which you have heard with which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me don't be afraid next verse surely I will send a spirit upon him hmm. and he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land listen the help of God will only come when you call for it the help of God will only come when you wait for it the help of God will only come when you acknowledge that that is what you need but if you are still saying I have strength of my own you know I know what I am doing I know what if you keep saying you know what you are doing when you don't know what you are doing God will leave you in your foolishness but when you humble yourself and say I don't have power of my own Lord I don't even know what is next do you think we that are your pastors don't used to go and lie down in the presence of God even me your senior pastor at times I will lie down in the presence of God and say Lord sincerely speaking these people are looking at me for what is next but Lord you know I don't know what is next Father please step in I don't know what to do next and I will just see God come into it there are times that even my wife will ask me honey kill a machine parking it kill a machine parking it kill a machine parking it and I don't know what to say I will go back to the master Lord my wife is asking about this father what do we do sincerely Lord I must tell you I don't know what to do I have no power of my own. If you want to join me to pray, let's sing together. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, I look up to you. Help me. I have no power of my own. I have no. I have. I have no power of my own. I have no. I have no power of my own. Holy Shagada Baba 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 Sile Pase Kenebosa. I have no. The last question I want to answer. When God now decides to help you, what will He do? Isaiah 41. Now let's look at verse 10. I discovered these things about God. When God decides to help you, what will he now do? Isaiah 41 verse 10. Look at this. He said, fear not. I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. Now look at the first statement. I will strengthen you. Now look up. When God decides to help you, he can help us in two ways. Number one, he can give us strength to do the things that naturally we could not do. 
So by the time we do them, people say, Hey, Sister Faith, Paul she This one, they won't see the hand of God doing it. They will see your own hand. That's why I say, I will strengthen. That's one way by which he helps us. He will energize us. He will talk to law school. How come? I was listening to, many years ago, I was listening to Billy Graham. No, it was Jimmy Swaggart. Jimmy Swaggart said he was invited to preach in an African country. And he got there, he was preaching. As he was preaching, he didn't know when he started to speak their language. He preached and preached for us. Preaching in the local language of the people of that country. And after preaching, he came down. Somebody came to him and said, Sir, in that language, to tell him that, ah, so you can speak our language. Jimmy Swagger didn't know what he was saying again. The person spoke and spoke and spoke. I don't know. Please, can someone, can you get an interpreter for me? Now, when he, they now say, No, sir, you just pre finished preaching in our language. God strengthened him too. I may have seen somebody. A pastor in my mentor's church. She didn't have womb. God strengthened her to be pregnant. God strengthened her to carry the baby for nine months. Deliver the baby. They were looking for the womb. So God, when he wants to help, may not come with his own hand. He may put his hand upon your hand and people will not see his hand at all. But you will now begin to do extraordinary things. But see, don't ever be deceived to take that glory. Oh. That's what annoys God. Don't ever be deceived to take that glory. Because people didn't see the hand of God. They saw your hand. They will be thanking you. They will be praising you. Telling you you are good. Telling you you are dynamic. Telling you that you are wonderful. But you yourself know yourself. That it is not me that just did this. It's not me. How many of you need that kind of help? You need God to strengthen you to get some things done. When the time of prayer has come, he'll pray. Let's see the second kind of help. Number two, the same Isaiah 41, verse 10, quickly. That's the last one I'll be speaking about. Then we start praying. Now, after strengthening, he said, look at the second one. He said, I will help you. Now, this one, it's not that he's going to strengthen you. He will do it by himself. So that you can say, Oh, what any more? Hey, oh, what any more? Help me with that song. Talk about like you look where money. Oh, what any more? Oh, what any more? I don't know the middle part. Oh, what any more? Nigbati a ye bo kunti me. Nigbati o kwa ye di de si mi o. Ne oke to kwa ye di de si mi lo josi. Oh wo re ni mori. Is God say I will help you. Then this one people people will not come and say ah oh, oh God you are good. People will say ah Allah unde darasi yo. Ah Allah unde wani ha yo. Ah Allah unde ni se ni ke ma sin lo. This one has happened to me severally. I was sharing with some pastors yesterday. Along with Lubun I was I had this small meeting with them. And these pastors was asking me, I was now telling about how the level land came, how area boys came to harass, how they say the land is their own. And me, I was just to cover myself up to also prove that I am somebody that. Who, the person that wants to take my life, we die, oh. that person we die, that person we die. And they put the person on, on the phone for me. I said, are you the one that wants to take my life? You will die. Oh. The person said, what do you mean? I am so so and so person. And funny, funny enough, the following week, the man died. All the people that wanted to take the land, the hands off straight. This one is not my hand. Now, God, you will enjoy the two help. God will strengthen you for exploit, and God will help you by Himself. Are you set to pray tonight?
Now be on your feet. Take that song one more time. I have no power of my own. Before we begin to pray. I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. Let me hear you. Holy Spirit, I look unto you. Help me. I have no power of my own. One more time. I have Shagada Barabarabas Kindle. I have no Holy Spirit. Now you will lift up your voice and say, Oh Lord, please help me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's begin to tell the Lord. Father, Lord, I call for your help. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for the helping hand of God. Begin to pray for his hand to help you right now. Lord, help me. Without you, I cannot go far. Lord, I cannot move at all without you. Rekada Baba. Shagadi Bosk. Rekada Baskenele. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Lord, help me. Tell the Lord the areas of help. Is it helping your family life? Is it helping your private life? Is it helping your business life? Begin to pray. Is it helping your academics? Tell the Lord. Ah, Father, help me, O oh God. I call upon you. I cannot go far without your help, Lord. I cannot go far without your help, Lord. I cannot go far without your help, Lord. Father, help me in the name of Jesus. Shagada basene, regede gede gede, baso to yenge de baskana, rakaya rabaskene. Begin to pray, 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 begin to tell the Lord, Father, help me, O God, in the name of Jesus. Are you praying this month, this evening? Talk to the Lord and pray. Begin to pray, Lord, I call you to help me. Lekada basene, regede bosa, shagada baskene. Basata ya gada baskenele, ringa da basana yera. Basata ya gada baskenele, shagada basi. Lord help me, Lord. Father help me, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now bring yourself down to that level of Jacob. He said, "Oh, warm Jacob." That's Isaiah forty-one fourteen. I will help you. Fear not. I will help you, warm Jacob. You say after me, you say, say, oh Lord, I know I'm like a worm now. I didn't hear you and I want to do exploit. Strengthen me for exploit, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray for his supernatural strength. I told you that one of the ways that God will help us is by energizing us to do the things that we cannot naturally do. Begin to pray. Father, help me. Ah, this vision is in front of me. Strengthen me, O oh God, to be able to accomplish it. Are you praying for yourself? Strengthen me to be able to accomplish it. Lord, strengthen me, O oh God, with power from your throne to be able to accomplish it in the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Help me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Begin to ask for his strength from above. Strengthen me for exploit. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Basata Yagadabas. Regedebosa. Lengedegedegedes. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Look up. You know, when 
David went forward to kill Goliath, it was God that helped him with strength. God energized him to go face Goliath. Listen, there are some realms you cannot enter until you kill Goliath. And when we talk about Goliath, we talk about big challenges. You say after me, say, oh Lord, strengthen me to conquer every Goliath. Every Goliath condition standing in front of me shall we begin to pray. Lord, strengthen me. You are my helper. You are my source of strength. Strengthen me, O God, to conquer every Goliath condition standing in front of me in the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Strengthen me, Lord, so that I will be able to conquer every Goliath kind of condition standing in front of me in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to kill the Goliath that will take me to, Lord, that I will kill to have to go to limelight in the name of Jesus. Lord, strengthen me. Begin to pray. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Lord, help me. Oluwa romi lowo. Oluwa gbogbo nto to da bi Goliath ni waju mi. Oluwa romi lagbara lati le bori won. Oluwa romi ni agbara lati le bori won. Are you praying for yourself? Le gada basanda. Re baba sanda ya. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. I told you the second kind of help, God will just come on his own. When God came on his own in the life of Joseph, he made Pharaoh to dream. And made the dream so, so, so packaged that the wise man, men of Pharaoh could not interpret. Alone Joseph would day me. We are calling on Tieno day. Uluwa on Milo war. Uluwa did day for me. Can't win here. No, Lima. At least look up. It's not only servants of God that they say Alone Pastor Prince Will. Have you heard of Alone Samos? Or you have not had that one? The one that gospel artist. Uh uh. Have you heard of Olorun Akekeola? Yes. Oh, you can't money. Olorun Imo. There are some things God will display in your life. You hear Olorun Chuku Dio. Shefe Mino. Yes. Are you sad? Don't mind him. There are some things God will do in your life. You hear Olorun Uri Ola. Yeah. Olorun Uri Ola. Oh, they were shefe me. I just can't suffer Olorun. Oh, God, help me. Help me, oh God, on every aspect that men will see you in my life. I myself will see you in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help me, oh God. Help me. Concerning the work of the ministry, Lord, help me. Concerning my family life, Lord, help me. Concerning raising my children, Lord, help me, oh God. In the name of Jesus. That I will see you in my life. Men will see your hand at work in my life. In the name of Jesus, Regada Basene, Basoto Yengede, Reguria Rabas, Shagada Baskene, are you praying? Basekele Maskene, Legede Bosana, begin to pray. Ask for the hand of God that helps. Oh, Lono, Tonon in Lowo, Romilowo, in the name of Jesus. Help me by your right hand, O God. Help me by your right hand, O God. Help me by your right hand, O God. Legede Bos, Shagada Baskene. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We'll take one more prayer. You know, we used to sing those days. Oh, <laughs> I want to read verse 15 of Isaiah 41. It says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument. Having feet, thou shalt thresh the mountain, and beat them small, and shall make hills as chaff. You will say, O God, do the unusual in my life. 
and through my hands. Do the unusual, uncommon, glorious uncommon, glorious unusual in my life and through my hands, oh God. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to talk to the Lord? That's the last prayer for this night. Begin to pray. I pray for the unusual, uncommon, glorious, glorious uncommon. Father, come and do it in my life. Come and do it in my life. Come and do it in my life. Rekada base. Shagada ba 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 sene. Balengo di arabaskene. Lenge de bosota yara. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Muni baba fagbara. Reho. Ninu aye mio. Baba Fagba Ra Re Baba Baba Mio Baba Fagba Ra Re Ninu Ilete Mi Baba Fagba Ra Re Ni Tori Kwe Ah Ki Go Go Araye Lemon, that you do it in my life, oh God. Jesus, Nicola, Lori, I ye, Bogbo, Baba, Fagba, Ra. Pray, Uluan Romilo, my Jackie, I ye, Femish, saying, Lord, help me, oh God, that men will not be able to mock me. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray it. Begin to pray it. I want to do to do to fair for me, Shelea. Ah, Ulua Jaco Jutsi won. Ramilo was she yanu renu a yemi to my Jaco Jutsi won. Everyone waiting to mock me. Help me to the point that they will not be, they will not be able to mock me again. Begin to pray for yourself. Legedi Basse, Shagada Basque, Linga da Barabasse. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Yagada base, legede buskinele, shagada bara bara basene, basanda yara baskene, balengu yara baskene, balegede gede gede. I don't know the areas of your life that you want help. Me, I want help in every area of my life. Lord, I want general help. Help me on every side. Help me in ministry, Lord. I don't know how to pastor again. Help me, oh God. I don't know how to do my job again. Help me, Lord. I don't know what next to do. Help me, Lord. I need resources. I don't know where to get. Help me, Lord. Are you praying? Ah. Shagadabas. Lege de Mose, Lenga da Barabas, Le Babas. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Ask for help. What are those areas that you are confused? That you don't know what to do? Ah, lege de bosen de le basket, shagada basket, barege de bosken, la ba 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 bas, lenge de gris.
Munima for Wallero, Nitorio Romi, Ma Mini Row, a little Marie to Dami, Ma Jeca Yberi, Paul or Rumida, Baba Bamishi. Ma for water on it to your me. Ma who meaning on a little marry. Ma jeka ye be re. Paul or me da. Baba wa. Bamishi. Ah. Lekad. Ah. Yaka. Shakada baskoto yu maske. Basoto yu maske. Shingada Maskina. Olorun ma joju o ti mi o eyin ni mo ni o Olorun ma ma je ya o je mi Olorun ma ba mi ja o kaye ma bere pe Olorun ti mo sin oda begin to pray begin to pray we have two more minutes Here alone, I lie near me, love. Ah, here alone, I lie near me, love. Hey, Nikani Muni, lie at the Lord, help me, Lord. Anybody, oh. Oh, Tilo, go, go, pray. Here on law, I lie in the room, in law, Baba. Oh, Lua, me, oh, Lua, me, Joe, what did they go right? Why, Mono, me, do why you got me, Pada, Siri, Baba. Wa wo mi le wo go wa bo asho e gan kuro Oluwa mi jowo dide ni tori femi o begin up lord arise for me for my sake you are my helper you are my helper come and help me come and help me Shagada baskini, legada baskini, basata yarase, legada baskini, lenge de bosini, lenge de bosoto, shada yara. Thank you, Father. Lagada basi, reba soto, legada bara 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 bara, ringu yara bas, shagada baskini, lenge de se. Begin to thank the Lord for the help that you have received. Begin to thank the Lord for the help that you have received. Lord, I thank you for help. Lord, I thank you for help I receive it. Lord, I thank you for the help that I receive right now. Legada Barabas, Shagada Baskine. Two ushers, I need you here. Baseke Leboskine, Legedebos, Basata Yagada, Legedeboskine, Le Basata Yangada Bas. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. I have help. I have the help that I need. I have help from your throne. 
Thank you for the helping hand that you have stretched forth towards me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You are the Lord. That is your name. Thank you for the help. You will never share your glory. With any man, <laughs> you will never share. Thank you, Lord, Almighty God. That is your. You are Lord. You are. You will never share glory with any man. You will never share your glory with any Thank you. Father, we are grateful. Almighty God, that is your name. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God. Yes, Lord. You never fail. Father, thank you. I speak as the oracle of God in the order of Isaiah 41 and verse 10. He said, I should tell you, fear thou not, that is your God. That you should not be dismayed, that he is with you. He said, he will help you and he will uphold you with his right hand of righteousness. I see you treasuring the mountains. Doing exploits from now. And never being stranded. Father, we bless this bread.